Hey guys, Tyler here from RC Extreme, and today I'm just going to do an update video on what's been going on, where have we been. Um, I've been uh, kind of busy lately, because uh, it's summer. I've been upgrading the E-Revo a lot. If you haven't seen the video, I've introduced my brand new E-Revo, which I'm going to name Raider. It's and that was the video that's the first one right now that was just uploaded a while ago in January and we've upgraded a lot we've done front and back both side RPM A arms blue in those black and red body we're gonna get clear body make it blue gotten pro line trenchers and yeah because on the old tires, this one doesn't have it. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see that. So it's, yeah. So, that's one of the things that we have is the tire. I'm just using a shoe box, honestly. To hold all RC parts. Let's see here. I got spur gears parts. Uh, this is the 54. Yeah, 54. That's for high speed runs on the Revo. Hmm. Back to all these parts are back from the beginning where I, where we had to pair it because the spur gear grip, um, pinion stampedes, fast pinion gear. I didn't do any repair or upgrade videos, but I might. Um, all the other RCs are the same. Um, let's see. This is the old spur gear. The old spur gear. That was all messed up. It all messed up. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Um, one of the e revives lipo batteries because we don't run lipos anymore. I'm just showing and explaining to you guys what was either upgraded or changed or stuff I have just because. Mm -hmm. I got push rods for the Evo back when we back when they were bent by hitting the manhole cover. Pretty bad. We don't run light bulbs in the Revo anymore because the they've been puffing and we've even been like charging them and doing everything you're supposed to with them. And yeah, so we got some old arms. More old arms. I just put them in RPM bags. <laughs> Hold on. Alright, must have for RCs, especially the Revo. And that is the one and only Sean Coil. This is Shims and Hardware. Getting by the Revo. Uh, I need a new battery for the slash. I did. So we had to get another power cell battery. Mm, yeah, power cell. Uh, so we did. We had to get different connect. Well, we had to get a different battery. So we had the guy cut off the connector for us. In case we want to solder. Uh, Let's see. Long travel rocker. Bottom of the long travel. I'll just put them together as I go. Right. Hmm. Didn't go to this one, I guess. Alright. <laughs> oh, here we go. This one goes here to the long. This is the bottom of one of the long travel rockers. I wish I had a screw to screw it down. And 
the bottom pieces. There is battery retainer tabs. RPM stickers. I love my stickers. Screws from when the bulkhead got destroyed. I'm not sure what these are. Foam body washers. Oh. I'm not sure what these are. If anybody knows, leave it in the comments below. Mm. Maximum steering stop. Not sure what that does either. But if you guys know, let me know. And last but not least. I have them in a Ziploc bag. We got some plows. There's a mini plow. Black one. There's a pretty nice looking kind of silver one. And then there's another silver one. I have to get all these green spots off. Yeah, that's my uh, RC inventory. So, uh, yeah, we haven't been doing videos, like I said, because it's a busy summer. And I guess I can show you guys some. The top don't go on it because the box is a little ripped. That's an old sneaker box. That'll work until I get a tackle box or something. Because I'm hoping to race one of these days. Just put the rockers inside. These are the arms go inside. The arms go inside. The unpackaged one. The ones that aren't in the package go right there. Then all the bag stuff. Here. Here. And here. And that's then this video here. Um about my RC inventory. That's and and so my puppy barking. Alright, so um, yeah, I guess that's the, this video. I know it's a short video, but, uh, yeah, see you guys.